guys. Um, I'm using my, um, oh my gosh, whatever, my vlogging thing. So it's going to look a little different. I'm trying to hold it. I have both phones hooked to it, so it's a little wobbly. Um, I'm at Settles Ford, and it is a public area. Um, this is kind of heavy to hold with both phones on it, so um, I just wanted to let everybody first know where we're at. And I have a couple of different videos I want to do out here. Uh, it is bow season, and the only way you can hunt here is with a bow. You cannot use a firearm out here. Um, there is a couple of bow hunters here. One was packing up and leaving, so I kind of got my red hat on um, because I do have right here. I don't want someone to take a pot shot at me with their bow. You know, it is what it is. But um, anyways, we're going to go to the cabin site. Um, Dean Rickett used to live here. He grew up here. This is his family's property. Um, and cabin was here through the Civil War. Um, I will link uh, my original video here and as you know spirits come back to where they grew up, where they used to live, the place that they love the most. So we're at the cabin site here in just a few minutes. It's windy. I'm sorry. And um, make sure it's still recording sorry and then we are going to do the necrophonic have some of the other equipment out and I'm going to turn this around and show you what it looks like out here so this is my view um, I think the one guy was leaving actually like using the vlogger um, because I can hold it steady with both hands, hold it in front of me. It is very bright out today, so it's hard to see the screen. I was going to go live, but, um, it, uh, I wouldn't probably be able to see your comments, so I'm just going to record. We're going to come down here. Um. There is a light line right there, but we're not going to be close to it. And I don't think there's actual power out here. Um, I think the lines are just here. Now, this was not mowed down like this last time we were here. And for my uh, vlog channel, we will be actually walking out that to see where it goes. The cabin used to be right up here. And... As soon as I find a good spot to make my way up to it, that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to make our way without tripping, falling, oof, or my own two feet. Not to look down. Look at this pile of tree. I don't remember that being here the last time I was here. And I'm going to be covered in stick tights. <laughs> I think I was the last time I was here also. So the cabin site is right there. But I'm trying to figure out how to get there without being all covered in stick tights. I think best bet is right here by this tree. The barn or garage, however you want to put it, it was a big barn, sat right over here. Uh, let's go this way. I'm going to be covered with stick tights. Oh well, that's life.
Look at this tiny little tree, guys. Isn't he cute? And as you can see, there's a pile of rubble right there. That is actually part of the um, cabin. Look at all this, guys. Let's see. Last time I was here, I found pieces of pottery in all this rubble because the nephew just bulldozed everything over he didn't care you know Here's some pottery. This stuff was actually in the cabin when we bulldozed it, burned it down and bulldozed it over. Look at this. So let's get up here. There really wasn't a good way in here. It just is what it is. Again, this uh, cabin was here during the Civil War. Um, the Burnt District, um, they pretty much made everybody come and live in town. And they burned their, everybody's homes, farms, everything, so that the opposing side, side could not use it, live in it, whatever. And um, this cabin was left because they they used. They use this cabin as a lookout. So, well, somebody's come up here and smashed glass. <laughs> Whatever, the glass wasn't here before. So I'm gonna pause this and get this set up and we're gonna turn on the necrophonic. Find the... Okay guys, I have you running. I'm going to turn on the necrophonic. You should be able to hear it okay. I do have you on the tripod. I hope it doesn't fall. Um, there we go. I'm getting my EMF detector going. And I have it out. Um, try to figure out how to set this up so that it's um, set where you guys can see it. Because I'm sitting kind of a little farther away than I probably should be. Okay. I'm going to start the necrophone. Yeah. Hello. Are there any spirits here with us today? reading 67. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is so bright out today. Um, 
I can't do anything about the Google update, guys. Is are any of the rockets here? Was this your cabin? I think that just said Dean. And his wife's name was Eula. They got married old in life and they never had children. Can you tell me what happened to the cabin? I'm here to get a car park. Can you tell me where to look? I need a part for a 72 Crown Vic wagon. Can you tell me where to look? Do you have any parts for Lincoln Zephyr? There used to be a Zephyr in a pond dam and in one of my videos we might go back out there but one of the videos from here I went out to the pond dam can you come up and touch what I'm holding out in my hand it just lets me know that you're here How much would you charge me for a starter for a Crown Vic? This whole property had vehicles of all kinds on it. Can you tell me how if you have any Studebakers here? Where would I find a Studebaker? Did you live here? Uh, 
if you hear anything weird, it's me taking stick tights off my clothes. I'm just going to get covered again. Is Dean or you all here? Can you tell me how old you are? It's really hard to hold that out, guys. Are you angry that your cabin was destroyed? Your home? I think it just said jealousy. That was my Google updates. Is there anything here that's going to hurt me? I said yes. So. Oh my lord. Could you come up and touch that again? Guys, nothing is going on. I can get it closer to my phone and it doesn't set it off. Could you come closer again? Is there anything here that's going to hurt me? Hello? Could you tell me again if there's anything here that's going to hurt me? If so, what is it? Hello? I keep hearing Dean. Dean. Is Dean here? Can you come up and touch what I'm holding in my hand? Can you do that again? It's not going to hurt you. It just beeps and lets me know you're here. Hold on. I'm hearing something. Now remember, it's both season, guys. I took my hat off. Hold on. I need to put my hat back on my head. Because I have gray hair. And I don't want some Yahoo taking a pot shot at me thinking I'm the ass end of some deer. Put my hat back on. Okay. Even though I'm wearing a purple shirt. Some, some, you never know. People are a little strange here. Hello. Can you do that again? I appreciate you coming up and uh, coming close to me and sitting down talking to me. I mean you no harm. I'm here out of respect to tell your story. Can you tell me what happened to your cabin? Your home? Uh, 
Hello? Hi. I think it's just said it got burned, which is what the family member did when he got done taking what he felt like he needed out of it. Is Dean or Eula here? And come up and to touch what I'm holding out in my hand again. Let's know that you're here. I'm trying to see twelve minutes. I want to thank you for talking to me. I think it just said go away. Can you come touch this just one more time and let me know that you are here? I want to thank you. I have this zoomed in a little bit, guys, so it looks like it's a lot closer than it is. I want to thank you for talking to me and communicating with this device I'm holding. I appreciate it. I'm going to walk around now. Thank you. Goodbye for now. I'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye. Okay. I stopped it when I had a moment. Um, I will walk around and have the necrophonic going. Hold on. Okay, I will walk around and have the necrophonic and all that going, but right now, oh, my legs are asleep the way I'm sitting here, and I am covered in stick tights, like from my waist, well, from my midway down, and um, I do have my tripod on this, but it's very heavy for it, so I'll hold it with the um with the hand bars so um i'm going to pause you and i will start a whole new video we will walk around um i'm trying to keep this on because it is bow season and they can hunt here and there are at least one person out here hunting but i do want to um walk around with the necrophonic going and filming and uh, start a second video for you guys. Um, there is a, another house set, uh, site where um, an older uncle lived on down the path the other way. I do want to go there and I also want to uh, walk around here. Um, that was amazing to get that huge hit. Unfortunately, they didn't come back. I was hoping to get more and I got that hit after I asked if there was something here that would hurt me. Yes, I have protection as you could see. Um, if any of you uh, know what that is, it's a whiskey burr. I do carry that with me quite often um, if I don't have other protection with me. Um, so anyways guys, I'm gonna, I know you can't really see me, I'm kind of close to it. but. Um, I'm going to stop this video here and we're going to start a whole new video so you'll be seeing these videos. I'm going to try to get out like five or six or seven videos today. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be in the 70s. I'm out um, just recording for you guys. It's a beautiful day.
get out today. Hope everybody's out doing something while the weather's nice. Everybody, have a wonderful time. I'm going to keep on going. Bye, guys. Talk to all of you guys down in the comments below.